another question for the synoptic questions playlist and as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first okay so we'll make a start to the oxidation number of the platinum in cis platinum well if you think about the charges of the ligands so you've got two neutral ammonia ligands you've got two one minus chloride ligands so to keep the whole thing neutral this platinum needs to be in the plus two oxidation state moving on to this unfamiliar mechanism so we need these two species to interact and generate cis platinum and a chloride ion so the way that's going to work is if the lone pair on the nitrogen is attracted towards the platinum obviously that's going to form this bond here this one here we need this to break and the cl to come off as a cl minus ion so that's obviously the curly arrow from the middle of the bond onto the cl part b now so the two functional groups in paracetamol are the phenol functional group so that's obviously an oh group directly bonded to a benzene ring and we've also got this nc double bond o so that's an amide group it's actually a secondary amide but you didn't need to say secondary secondary because there are two carbons directly bonded to the nitrogen and finally moving on to this synthesis of paracetamol I'll do the calculation first then we'll look at the intermediate and then we'll finish with the purification of the paracetamol so we want to produce five grams of paracetamol so the first thing we want to do is work out how many moles that is so mass over MR we get 0 0.0331 the dot 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 just means I've kept the full number in the calculator so next thing we need to do is work out the moles of 4-nitrophenol we're going to need but we've got to factor in this 40% percentage yield so it's a reverse percentage calculation basically so if we think about the mole ratio first of all so it's a 1 to 1 ratio between 4-nitrophenol and paracetamol so if it was 100% yield we'd need that many moles of 4-nitrophenol but it's only 40% so what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 40 and multiply by 100 to get the moles of this that we're going to need. So that gives us this many moles and obviously to turn it into grams we multiply by the MR of 4-nitrophenol which is 139 which comes out at 11.5 grams. So moving on to the structure of the intermediate now. So obviously to generate paracetamol we need a group here that will react with this ethanol chloride to generate this amide group and the group in question is an amino group so we need to turn the NO2 group into an NH2 group and obviously that's going to be 4-aminophenol so to generate the intermediate the 4-aminophenol or you could give the structure there we're going to react the 4-nitrophenol with a mixture of tin and concentrated hydrochloric acid and that's obviously going to reduce the nitro group to the amino group. The final part of the question, we've got to talk about how we purify the solid paracetamol. So we're going to do this by recrystallization. So the first thing we need to do is dissolve the impure paracetamol in the minimum volume of hot solvent. Next thing we do is cool that mixture back down again so the crystals reform and sometimes it's a good idea to scratch the side of the beaker that you're carrying out the process in with a glass rod and that helps the crystals to reform. Next thing we do is we would filter under reduced pressure or you could say filter using Buchner apparatus. Next thing we do is wash the crystals with cold solvent. Can't use hot solvent otherwise it would dissolve them so cold solvent needed now. And the final thing we'd do is we'd allow the crystals to dry. 